gave me a oh my god look it's forty dollars we got this To head up out of the room, we have to check out at 11 o'clock. So, um, I don't know what I'm about to do today, I really don't know. I'm gonna try to Instacart or something just to make me a little cash or something like that. And yeah, that's about it. So, I'll see y'all when I get to the car. Let's see, watch out, boy. Let's see, watch out. Put your shoes on while you're trying to be in the camera. That's what the camera is for. So you can put your shoes on in the camera. In the camera, it's still So y'all, we just made it to Kroger's. My cousin gotta get this money to restaurant. Yeah, it's it's really Get looking what? like um we're gonna be sleeping in the car tonight because <sighs> money is real scarce right now. Um Yeah, honestly for me it's gonna be like that for probably about a week because um I need to pay my car note. So my car note needs to be paid or I'm not gonna have a car and after I pay my car note I need to pay for my license because that's just more important right now like my license is gonna cost like almost $1,400 so I can't be driving around free and I ain't gotta be worrying about no police pulling me over because my license is secure but today is really not gonna consist of nothing for real just taking care of business you know what do you to get them to be quiet. Huh? I said to keep them quiet. The goal? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to do that, but... <laughs> you okay? Y'all good? Mm-hmm. Come on. Hey, Asir, why did you bring... Give me that ball. You can't play with that in a library. You have to be quiet in here. Excuse me. Do y'all have a kids section? Oh yeah, it's uh, around this corner, right over there. Okay, yeah. us here, us here. Come on, this way. Come on. Uh oh, get up. Look at them. 
This is a cute little library. You should see it. Look. Look at the chairs. You said what? Um, over here? Girl, um, the adult side. They don't even know what we're doing. Okay, I'm gonna call you a little later. I'm gonna um, find some books for the Bible and stuff. So y'all, uh, we are at the library. We gotta be quiet. But I'm gonna read that Bible. And I'm gonna go give me some books about business and stuff so I can um, figure out how I can make some more money. Because uh, your girl is just Look at them, they put all these toys on the ground. Why would they do that? Let's see her. Clean up some toys. Clean up some. Okay. You ready? Yeah. <laughs> all right. Hi, everybody. I'm here today to let you know in your journey that you decide to put the Lord into your life and incorporate Him into your life. There's one thing you should remember. If it comes to you and if it walks like a duck and quacks like a duck, okay. it's a duck. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all, so we at this gas station in this nice new Well, I'm gonna buy us a few. Thank you. Which is so nice because I didn't have no money to buy me no food or no food. There you go. No, we're not getting no bananas from here. Come on, let's go. You see the nice man? Thank you. <laughs> there you go. Oh, wow. hey. <laughs> <laughs> say bye bye. Say thank you. Okay, Ducky. Okay, Ducky. I'll see you. I'm gonna see you again. <laughs> Where? You? S I don't see. Hello. Um. Cheese. Okay. Y'all can get what y'all want. Get some cheese. You want a cheese? And get y'all juice. I'm trying to tell y'all, God be on time every single time. Can we shout in the gas station right now? No, you can't open it right now. I gotta pay for it. Look what he gave me, y'all. Oh my God! Look, it's forty dollars. We got this. I'm telling y'all right now. I didn't have a dollar to my name. I didn't have a dollar to my name. A dollar. I didn't. I don't even have money to get myself gas. Didn't have no money to get myself my kids no food. But God. Ooh. But God. Y'all. Literally, I woke up this morning and God had literally told me to go to the library, right? 
mind you so if if y'all don't know like i'm a dreamer and god shows me visions and stuff all all the time and in this particular vision he has showed me a man with a navy blue hat on with a white t-shirt on and in the in the vision he was giving me money right so god had told me to go to the library so at first i wasn't gonna go to the library i really was not gonna go to the library i was gonna go find something else to do but i didn't have anything to do for real because the person house that i was gonna go to um she ended up gonna go somewhere so i ended up going to the library being obedient going to the library right why i see this man he has a navy blue hat on with a white shirt on which is the man that y'all just saw right and i had seen his skin complexion in the um vision also i didn't never seen his face because everything was like blurred out i didn't see anything but the hat and the shirt so i when i see him i was just looking at him and i was staring at him like oh my god you look so familiar in my spirit like i feel like i i know him or i met him already but he was just the person that god had shown me in a vision so i ended up asking him like do you go to church and stuff and then he ended up telling me yeah and what church he went to and the conversation just went on from there and i say this to say be obedient like if god is telling you to do something He's telling you to do it for a reason if god is showing you something he is not a man that he shall lie and he just had to keep reminding me that like when i was talking to the man because one thing that god did tell me he was like your faith is your money because basically he was really just encouraging me to stay on my walk and if i feel like this is what god is telling me to do do exactly what god is telling me to do and god had kept like revealing to me that okay just put it next to you God had kept revealing to me that like your faith is your money and I feel like he wanted me to get that revelation first before I was he actually gave me physical money right he ended up going to the gas station giving me physical money not only did he give me physical money he gave me a word which I needed that to encourage me because I was really getting discouraged y'all I was really getting discouraged and I was gonna be like God what I want to do but he gave me a word. He gave my kids some juices. He gave them some snacks. And he also went to the gas station and pulled out $40. Like, $40 might not be a lot, but it's a lot to me because I didn't have no money. Like, I didn't even know how I was going to feed my kids in a moment. Like, I literally had had nothing. Nothing. I got $2 in my bank account right now. But, God. He gave me some money for gas and for me to get my kids something to eat. But, God, y'all. And I feel like God really got me on this journey because he's showing you that when you when you put your trust in God and when you put your faith in God, he's going to have you regardless. It might not be exactly what you want it to be, but it's going to be exactly what you need. Do you hear me? Yo, so we just pulled up to my friend's house. I'm about to do some editing and stuff like that. Um, then I'm probably going to leave and then uh, meet back up with my cousin and see... What we finna do tonight and we're finna go tonight. Okay. Hey, Mama. Hey, Mama. What y'all got? Barbecue pizza. You said barbecue chicken? Some pizza with some barbecue chicken. Some barbecue chicken. Some barbecue chicken. Did y'all say thank you? Thank you. Say goodnight. Good night. Yeah, I forgot to close the vlog out. So, good night. We'll see y'all guys tomorrow. Peace out.